how I started my laundry business, and tips on how to start one. Sa laundry, my forever. Mag-compete po tayo sa service and sa additional comfort na binibigay natin sa client. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, it's Joyce Yo, your master mindset. If you are new in this channel, I would really appreciate if you can hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it so I can keep you updated every time I post another business and investment opportunities videos. Hashtag changing mindset daily with Joyce Yo. Shout out for today. This is what we always do. Like shout shout out po tayo every start of our video. And, and our first shout out is to Joy TV. Hi Ma'am Joyce, pa shout out po. Ito na Ma'am. <laughs> Joy Pujihara po. I'm watching your video habang nasa car going to my work. Salamat po. I need to grow. Dami ko pang di alam sa business. And thank you for sharing Ma'am Joyce very much ha po. Thank you Ma'am Joy for listening and watching my video. So, pareho tayo ng ginagawa, ma'am. Every time traffic, which is always here in Manila, so, ang ginagawa ko, instead of listening sa mga songs to make me um, emotional, ang pinapakinggan ko po ay mga, mga positive mindset and about business. I, I always learn kahit nasaan man po ako. So, um, this is a good way to learn to listen and to watch video. Marami pong available na information sa internet. Let's make use of that. Kaya, keep on learning para mas lalong lumakas yung loob natin. And that will change your mindset in whatever purpose na gusto mong gawin. Alright? So, Thank you, Miss Joy Fujihara, and I believe na you will be a successful entrepreneur someday. The fact that you're willing to learn and you're willing to listen and manood ka lang po ng video ko palagi. <laughs> Thank you so much. Our next shout out, Miss Julia Atapang. Grabe, Miss Joy. Sobrang nakaka-inspire ka. Nagahanap talaga ako ng business ideas nitong kakatapos ko lang mag-work abroad. Lahat ng videos mo na inspire ako mag-start na ng business. Excited ako at the same time natatakot. Pero dahil na-inspire mo ako, lalakasan ko na ang loob ko. Hi, Miss Julia Atapang. Shout out to you. Kamusta ka, ma'am? Uh, normal lang yan na matakot tayo. Kasi even for me, natatakot pa rin ako every time na magtatayo ako ng business. Pero, that's what really fires me to do it. Kasi, pag natatakot ka, it means na whatever happens, kung mag-fail man or hindi, that business, your experience will be your biggest asset. Kay had failed businesses na din before, but that failures, that what molds me to what I am today. Thank you, Miss Julia Atapang, and I hope you will take that one step towards achieving your goal to be an entrepreneur. Alright, so that's it for today. Hashtag Changing Mindset Daily with Joyce Yo. If you want to join, you can comment Changing Mindset Daily with Joyce Yo after this video and also include what are your questions, what you learned about this video. So, Thank you so much po sa mga nagko-comment and keep on watching my video. Salamat po. So, I will discuss with you today is how I started my laundry business and tips on how to start one. So, if you're ready, let's dive in. So, why am I sharing this to you? Kasi just like you before, I'm really scared to do laundry business kasi naisip ko ang laki ng capital and there's no detailed information available sa internet. I want to share this to you guys because I really want to help you if you are just planning to put up or you're about to start one. So I want to guide you as well kasi yun yung kulang sa akin when I was starting, yung magaguide sa akin. So what I did before is I research. I went to a lot of laundry shop para mag-research, magtanong sa mga employee nila. So ganun po yung ginawa ko and I also attended the seminar, naghanap talaga ako ng seminar para ma-educate ako on how I will start my laundry business. Number one, you have to ask yourself why laundry business. 
So, sa unang video ko, naalala ko, ang sagot ko doon is, because a laundry my forever. Tama ba ako? Kasi, di ba, parang hindi naubos yung mga labahin natin sa bahay. And the main reason why is that having clean clothes is a necessity. Lalo na ngayon, booming yung mga condos and so they don't have provision for you to do your laundry. Minsan, hindi ka pa pwedeng magsampay sa labas. So, um, and also, wala ka na rin talagang time. So, if you're gonna do your laundry while working, may hirapan ka pagsabayan. And also, yung mga estudyante, di ba, they opt to magpalaban na lang kesa iuwi pa nila sa bahay. Nakikita mo yung palaging may demand. And bakit nyo nga ba nakikita na may nagsusulputan na napakadaming laundry business dyan? Kasi, may market. Huwag po kayong matakot sa nakita nyo yung lugar na, ay, ang dami ng laundry dyan. Ang dami ng laundry. Ibig sabihin, you have the market. And kung makita mo na lahat sila, kahit madaming laundry, nakita mo na ang daming nagpapalaba, you will only get the market share doon sa kanilang tatlo. So, maghahati-hati kayo sa market share. But, please, wag po nating patayin as a business owner yung, um, yung presyo. Wag po tayong magpatayan or mag-compete sa presyo. Mag-compete po tayo sa service and sa additional comfort na binibigay natin sa clients natin. Kasi, ayari, para lumipat sa'yo lahat yung customer, bababaan mo yung pressure. That's not the right thing to do. Tama? That's not the right thing to do. You have to increase your service, do promos, ganyan. Para hindi tayo magpatayan sa presyo. Alright? So, yun. Medyo malayo na yung nasabi ko. So, so I remember kasi when we had this um, boutique sa Batangas, nakikita namin, walang pumapasok sa amin, nagbebenta kami ng damit, walang pumapasok sa amin, nakikita lang namin, katapat namin is the laundry business and the water, and paulit-ulit yung tao labas pasok doon sa laundry shop. So, sabi ko, ang gandang negosyo ng laundry shop. And even for daddy, yan, si daddy talaga, lagi siyang nakatingin doon sa laundry shop, tinitingnan niya, sabi niya, grabe, ang lakas ng laundry business na to. Sabi niya, soon, magkakaroon tayo niyan. Tapos, dun din sa before, dun din before sa UST, meron siyang um, internet cafe, sobrang lakas din daw ng laundry business. So, sabi niya, maganda talaga tong negosyo na to. So, yun nga, fast forward, naging kami ni daddy, marami kaming ginawang businesses, and nung time na, I was preparing for my um, pregnancy para kasi IV up ako, I need to prepare so I had the time to research and nag-decide kami na we want to have a laundry business so, nung tinatayo ko po yung laundry business, buntis pa ako nun guys, alright? So for the research, ang ginawa ko po, pumunta po ako sa lahat ng laundry business na nakikita ko, mga self-service laundry, tapos naglalaba talaga ako. And then, tinitingnan ko lahat ng mga nagpapalaba, kinakausap ko yung mga employees nila, tinatanong ko kung gano'ng kadami nagpapalaba, paano yung service nila. Kasi when you don't really do self-service laundry, parang maiintimidate ka kapag uh, pumunta ka doon, tapos hindi mo alam kung paano gawin, tapos walang tutulong sa'yo. So, pinag-aralan ko talaga, lalo na sa BF para Ranyake kasi ang dami talagang laundry business doon. Merong may restaurant, merong may mga gaming space, may mga, meron pa yung mga nagmamasage, magmamasage na chair. So, sabi ko, wow, nakaka-challenge. I really wanted to have a laundry business. So, yun na nga. Nag-research ako and then, nag-check ako sa YouTube. Walang masyadong, um, nagdi-discuss about how to put up your laundry business. So, nakakita ko sa Facebook, nag-attend ako ng isang seminar, and that seminar also, yun din, sila din nagsusupply ng machine. Sa seminar, syempre, they can give you all the details. So, it's a general information, and they will discuss on, di ba, kung uh, magkano yung machine nila. So, they're selling kasi. So, you really have to do your own research talaga. And after ko nung mag-seminar, I still don't have the location that time. So, kami ni Daddy, every time nalalabas kami, nagtitingin talaga kami ng mga location dyan kung meron na or wala pa. So, one night, dito lang malapit sa amin, sa bahay namin. So, tinting na naman sabi namin, oh, let's go look for a location, ganyan-ganyan. So, ikot kami and then we saw this one building. So, si Daddy dito sa kabila ako dito. Ganon kami every time lumalabas kami sa left siya dito ako sa right. Tumitingin ng location. So, si Daddy doon nakatingin sa left. May abandon na. May building doon na dati daw gym. Tapos dito sa kabila nakita ko naman baba siya ng condo and may coffee shop. And nakalagay na for, for rent na. So, siguro umalis na yung coffee shop doon. So, sabi ko, oh, ito pwede dito. Pero that that place is um, 
papasok siya, loob siya, patago siya, but likod siya ng UERM. So, sabi ko, ito, pwede to. Tingnan natin buka. So, yon pinuntahan ko talaga agad yung um, building. So, nagtanong ako, bakit wala pang umuupa? So, I did my research also. And sabi nila, ayaw nila ng laundry shop kasi daw medyo madumiting nan sa building. So, I proposed post a design to them and naglagay po kami ng coffee shop. So, fast forward, kakapunta ko po dun sa may-ari, kakakulit ko. Dal dalawa pa kami na nagustong mag-rent. But that time kasi, hindi siya umate. Ang lalagay niya is computer shop. Pero hindi siya umatend ng meet nila. So, na-off na yung may-ari sa kanya. Kasi ako, palagi talaga ako pumupunta doon. Nagbibigay ako ng something. Ganun kasi. You have to do ano, konting marketing. <laughs> Tapos, punta ako doon to set a meeting. So, nakipag-meeting ako. Ganito, ganyan. Pero post ko sa kanya. So, yun. In short, nakuha ko po yung place. Doon po sa pinag-seminaran ko, doon po ako kumuha ng machine. But that's one of the, ano ko, medyo... Um, hindi ko masyadong na foresee kasi kasi dapat nag-research pa ako nag-research pa ako ng mga supplier so that's really important you have to um, look for a good location and also the right supplier for you alright so ayun po after that 15 days, binigyan niya kami ng 1 month to prepare the area. Ang maganda lang po kasi, that certain place, kasi it's a coffee shop before, so maganda na siya. Hindi na namin siya kailangan i-renovate masyado. So, nilagay na lang, so nag-install and nilagay yung machine. That's, that is 50 square meters, kaya lang medyo na, na medyo sumikip siya kasi we have the CR, meron pa ditong um, coffee shop bar and then meron pa kaming stock room so medyo masikip siya, so di namin na maximize yung place and then, yun, so after 30 days, ready na siya, ready na siya to operate but, but the challenge is that during that time, kapag ang mahirap po kapag you are in the school area, kapag um, walang pasok or tawag doon kapag bakasyon yung mga estudyante walang tao. So, nang nag-start kami, walang pasok so wala rin po kaming masyadong customer. So, what I did, I asked my employees to have um, to distribute mga flyers. So, flyers everyday, flyers kami yan. Punta kami sa Santa Mesa sa mga condo doon, pinagbabantay ko sila para magbigay ng mga flyers and ilang months po yun na break even kami. Maliit yung expenses kasi maliit din po yung kita namin. So, break even kami. And then after, um, and then after some time, bigla pong bumagyo. Bumagyo. And yung place na yun, bumabaha po siya. But that time, kasi sobrang taas na nung place na yun. So, hanggang dito na yung tubig and yung mga, and yung sa part namin, hanggang dito na ng tao yung tubig. But sa part namin, mali, ma, mababa pa rin yung baha. But, pinasok pa rin po yung machine namin. Umakyat pa rin yung tubig. So, kabang-kaba ako nun. Sabi ko, Lord, sana naman po hindi po masira yung mga machine. So, the next day after nung ulan, nagdinis kami. Hindi namin binuksan yung machine. Two days kaming sarado. Pinatuyo muna namin and then pinaayos muna namin sa technician. Tapos, you know what? That was the biggest blessing. Kasi after... Um, nung tag-ulan na yon after nung baha na yon bumagsak yung tao. Dumami yung tao. Ay, nakakatawa. So, nagsunod-sunod na po. Doon na yung time na nakilala yung laundry shop namin. And also, kasi may laundry shop pa sa kabila. So, nung time na yon nagsarado din po sila. So, marami pong nakakilala ng laundry business namin. And, nakakatawa. Up to now, ang... Um, I'm so thankful and grateful kay Papa God na ang dami pong nagpapalaba. So, that's the history of our laundry business. Nakakatuwa lang kasi laging may blessing. So, ngayon, yung laundry business natin is almost magto two years na and hopefully, hopefully, mabawi na namin po yung kapital. Malapit na. Kapit lang, guys. Kaya, we're venturing into our second branch soon. So, that's the tip lang po. You really have to find a good location and a good supplier and 
find the, your business partners, which is your staff. Alright? So, dun po nakasalalay ang lahat. Siyempre, if you have the fund na, huwag na po kayong maghintay. You look for a location and then, dire-diretso na po yan. So, if you want to know more about how to put up a laundry business, you, you can always get in touch with me. I do business coaching po para I can help you visit my shop para ma-explain ko po sa inyo lahat the details on how to put up a laundry business. Kaya, I will discuss kung sino po yung okay na supplier for the machine, setup, POS, yan po. So, i-discuss natin yung lahat. So, uh, sa mga interested po kasi yung haba na yung video natin, you can contact me through my IG. It's Joyce Yo or FBMJPG Joyce. Kaya po, yun lang po yung konting history ng aming laundry business. Sana po, um, na-inspire po kayo and marami po kayong natutunan sa video na to. And I hope to see you on my next videos. Dalhin ko po kayo sa laundry shop habang ginagawa natin yung ating second branch. And thank you so much guys and see you!